All right, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is structured text compared to lighter logic. A very simple example so that you can easily understand what an if then statement is. Um, let's just talk about this real quick. Um, to start out, you know, the, basically I have a periodic task, I have a main program, I have a main routine, which is I actually have my ladder logic in now, and I have a structure text routine. Okay, so I actually don't have any logic in here right now, so if I just cancel this, it's you can see there's no logic in structure text. So we're going to write that as we go through the, the actual video here. So um, the way this works right now is if I if I were to toggle the start button and the stop button is not on right so it's in a zero state then the system active bit will come on and seal itself in okay so you see that it seals itself in and as long as the the system stop bit is not on it stays sealed in so this in turn is a if the system start system start is on right and if not, or basically it's an if and not system stop, then system start or system active turn on system active bit, right? So that's basically a simple scenario. It's, it's just like an if then else statement. This is basically, you know, how logic is done, right? So it, when you talk about an if then else statement, I'm online. Uh, and just to talk about this for two real quick, I'm using version 36 and uh, this is just an emulated version. So if I do uh, if, and then I do something like, uh, we'll call this a little bit different tags. So we'll say system, system, and then we'll say start actually we can use the same system start so let's use the same system start bit and we'll just toggle it from the other one and not system stop okay so this is the way this would look then then we want to have system active. So that's basically, you know, how to turn that on. Now, the only flip side to this is the CLN circuit, right? So the CLN, the way the CLN circuit would work is you would basically, you know, come in here and turn this down to one and it would stay, it would stay one, right? And then you could write something like a case or you, you could do something like that, but you can just say, you know, then on and then, you know, else it would go off. But the, the issue here, and, and this is what I'm getting at. So this is why I don't want to use the same tags as what I have here is because right now this is a ceiling circuit. Okay. So if, and let's just take the ceiling circuit out just so it's, it's simpler for you to understand because it will still work it's just the same right so let's go ahead and assemble that actually let's let's finish the statement and assemble that then and then what we'll do is then we'll say system active and we'll say equals one and then close the parentheses and then end the if Okay, so we want to end if, of course it won't. And let's select that. And you make sure you close that as well. And then we can assemble it. Okay. So what we're going to do is if the system starts active and the system stop, again, is not active, then it's going to turn on that bit. Okay. Now, what I can do to better explain this and show how this is working is I can add a wrong and I can come over here and let's just throw like an NOP, which is a no operation, no op. I actually put it in the instruction and then carry this down here so that you can see it turn on. I'm just gonna change this to a 
um, examine on and then let's remove this right here as we'll have to put in another NOP. Uh, just so you know the the way that works is that that wrong would would turn that on and so I don't want them I don't want them fighting right now right so I'm gonna delete this just so you can see that the structure text will actually turn it on so this right now is going to be let's go to examine on so you can see it so right now the way our structure text logic is is if the start system start is on and the system stop is not on okay so not on then system active set to one so let's see that work let's toggle that bit and you see it turns that bit on and if i go over here you can see that that is happening right so now if I toggle the stop bit, you can see that that should actually the way I have it written, it won't. That it's writing one, so that's a good that's a good uh, way to understand how things are working, because it will not cut this on or cut this turn this off as of that, because basically, even if I untoggle the start button, it's going to stay on because the way I have it written. So we can say. In that case, we can go back to our structure text and say, and then we can put like an else, else system active, and then we'll come over here and put equals zero. Okay, so let's close that. And let's finish that. So now the system should work like we talked about. So now keep in mind, we have the button on. So let's, let's turn on the start button. It turns the bit on. If I turn off the start button, it's gonna turn off, okay? Now, if I turn off the stop button, it's gonna turn off. Because what's happening is right now, you can see, you can see right now the start button is on and the stop button is on but the stop button has to be off for us to issue a one to the act system active else what it's going to do is it's going to turn it to zero so you have to be careful when you're doing struct or structure text versus ladder logic on the way it's done because again you do actually hold the bit high if you do not write it to a separate value and this is part of why i wanted to make this video is because basically people can understand how an if then else statement works so you can see if i do that again i have nops over here I'm, i don't have the functionality of this working right now the way i can test this again to show you in ladder logic is i can come over here and let's actually turn this off real quick so let's cut it off and then what i'm going to do is afi the ability for the structure text routine to actually control anything. And then I'm gonna come in and put this bit over here as an OTE again, okay? Take out the NOP, and then I'm gonna show you how that works. So now, again, system stop is active, or is on. Okay, so if I toggle it, the system, the system active works. But again, I'm not scanning this logic right now, okay? So the, from the subroutine, I'm not scanning that logic. So none of this will affect it, okay? None of this will affect it. Only the ladder logic is controlling it right now. So if I drop the stop, it drops. So if I wanted to do a seal-in circuit like I had before, or if I want to do a seal-in circuit, then let me show, show you this. Then I could come over here, put that in there, and then come over here and see how that works. That seals it in, it, it's sealed in until the stop button is pressed. Okay, so now if a stop button's pressed, then it, it unseals it, right? And then it doesn't seal it back in again until the start button is pressed or the system starts pressed. So I'm showing you two different ways of how this system works, right? One versus, well, structure text how that's working or how that actually uh, should be written 
to achieve that goal. And then, but again, too, you could change that if you just wanted to write it high, you could, but you always need the option to write it to a zero for simple controls, just because of the simple fact of, well, you do, do need to change states on bits at certain times to control things at a certain rate or control things the, the proper way. So um, what I'm doing is just giving you a, a small illustration of an if then else type scenario and also how does that how does that look in ladder logic right so if this and not this then this right so the same thing if this if this and not this then this else this right so you see the difference right you can see how that works so hopefully that does kind of close some gaps for you as far as like thinking about like the way logic should be written or the way logic is interpreted logic is logic right plc logic is going to be the same functionality if you can basically logically think about it you can logically do it now there are caveats to that where again you need to understand the language you are programming in to be able to program it successfully so that it's safe it works so some people say that structure text is a much easier thing to you know actually learn and, and pick up because of the way that naturally if you're a beginner it, it just writes it out or you write it out and you understand how it's done but keep in mind with ladder logic is actually the primary source of uh that's it's easier to function or easier to understand because you can see toggling that bit you can see what happens when those bits come high you can see what happens when the system works right you can easily see when it, uh, uh, something transitions transitions to from a, a, a non colored to a green right or whatever colors you deem to have in your properties up here you can change the colors and and fonts of stuff like that but just for the sake of argument um, this is a an example of basically if then else scenario in ladder logic versus a if then else inside of a structured text environment same tags same functionality one's being scanned right now one's not being scanned so i showed you that um, now if i did have both of these scanning right now they would conflict each other so do you know don't expect you to have double otes and be able to control something adequately i do not recommend having double otes in a program whatsoever that's just me um, it can creates confusion it creates uh, things that don't work properly and it's easily manipulated with basically it could be especially on a continuous task but again that goes back to timing and the way things work and processors so hopefully this video closed the gap again with structure text versus ladder logic and helped you out with the understanding of both with that said hopefully you learned a lot we'll see you guys on the next one